Hi, my name is Rustam Sengupta and I'm part of the CRISP 2017 Fellowship. Hello, myself Amit Sharma. I'm uh, part of the Chevening Fellowship uh, CRISP uh, 2017. I'm uh, Dr. Paramita Banerjee and I've been coming to this uh, Science Innovation and Chevening CRISP program. Hi, my name is Arjun Main and I'm part of the Chevening Rolls-Royce Science Innovation Policy and Leadership program. The fellowship is uh, what uh, w brings together the mix of being in a great institution like Oxford, uh, blends in uh, the, the, the topics of science, innovation, and the latest uh, in the world on policy and leadership, uh, together in a very uh, uh, serene environment and uh, in an atmosphere which allows you to think and uh, have an open conversation. It has been fascinating for me to be in this program and be a part of Oxford to do research and uh, learn about it. And we got access to a lot of uh, uh, what is going on here and so perfectly fantastic for me. You know, it's a great place to be, it's very open, it, it allows you to uh, uh, live life in a very relaxed way, away from the mad crowds of a large city. Uh, you, you can enjoy cycling, you can enjoy sports, you can enjoy walking uh, in some of the most uh, old uh, colleges you know, where, where there's a lot of history steeped into the colleges and the university there. There's an amazing network that you can develop uh, while being part of uh, this particular fellowship and also a lot of things which is happening in some of the other spheres which are not part of your routine day to day work you get exposed while you are part of uh, this program practical tips i think three very practical tips one is uh, be honest about your story and why you feel you need it because uh, you i mean it is a um, like I mentioned, it's a mid-career fellowship, so you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it when it's time, so be very honest and direct. Second is, uh, I think, be um, a little more um, knowledgeable in the breadth, because it's a science, technology, policy leadership. So it's not just to be very much in a silo about what you do. So when you apply, have a little bit more inclination to talk about and discuss things which are on a breadth of topics across the world. And uh, number three is, uh, also put the element of the UK Indian relationship in the bit in, in it because that's what the you know sort of a core component is is how a collaborative you know relation can be developed through the Chris Fellows. So I think these three should help you get a Chris Fellowship.